After the death of King Ramesses III, came to the throne of Egypt a group of kings who bore the same name, the last of which was King Ramesses XI, with whom the 20th dynasty ended. These kings found themselves facing many grave problems which were inherited, including the economical dilemma and the internal collapse and the deep-rooted foreigners' interference, and finally, the control of the priests of Ammon on all affairs of the kingdom. On the other hand, these kings were confident that they were incapable of keeping the power of Egypt over the provinces following it, so we don't know if any of these kings had sent a military campaign here or there to make these provinces feel that Egypt is still keen and watching over its possessions abroad. Corruption overwhelmed the country, and kings closed their ears of what was going on, and some of them preferred to leave the ruling to his helpers and live in their palaces in the east of Delta. The documents of this period record the thefts and the bribes and the economical fall down. Nothing was mentioned about Ramesses IV or the V. As for the VI Ramesses, we found his tomb in the Valley of the Kings, and that his name is recorded on several other monuments. As for the Ramesses from the VII till the IX, the collapsing has reached a level in their time that hadn't reached before that time or after. It's enough to know that the most famous robberies in the history, which is the robbery of the royal tombs in the Valley of the Kings, happened in the reign of King Ramesses IX. These robberies were the direct result to the corruption that prevailed in the country and to the economical tightness which the Egyptians went through, and for the rich got richer, and the poor got poorer, and the court couldn't judge with justice.